Hey guys and gals, welcome back. So it's nearly Christmas. You have got less than three weeks to get your your stuff sorted out. So here is uh, here's a quick run through of a whole bunch of Christmas gifts for the shooter guy or girl who uh, is into sport shooting, hunting, tactical, or if you've got LE or military members in your family. So we've got some really great ideas here that I hope you will stick around to the end for. I will put a extensive list at the end of the video or somewhere close to it and I will put a bunch of stuff in the description where you can find these video where you can find these items. All right, so let's get started. First and foremost, reverse a target system. Uh, don't let her go out and buy one of these things and it is an excellent system for training. I've got the stands attached to it. Check out my other video on the system if you want to see more about it. But basically these attach like so. The stands come in different heights and they're really good for a rifle, uh, zeroing, that kind of stuff, and for running lots of different pistol drills. We absolutely love them and we are on We've gone through multiple sets of these. We're finding the hold up for about 800 rounds. And at that point, no matter how much you patch them, they tend to start getting flippy floppy. Okay, so reverse the target system. Excellent product. Next product, products, I should say. Coltac products. We've got Coltac laser cut magazine pouches here. These are AR10 SR25. And, uh, you know, they're about sort of your 308, 6.5 Creedmoor size. We have got these mounted on our blue Alpha gear belt here. This is a very rigid belt system. The internal in this belt system is the, I've got the everyday carry system. So that I can go from everyday carry to more of a duty battle belt system if I ever should need to. Excellent system, very, very rigid. I don't have the inner hooked up properly, but yes, very, very rigid. Attached to the belt, we've got mechanics gloves. I have multiple sets of these gloves and they work really, really well. Uh, for my fine shooting skills, I like to have the non-padded back of the fingers are a little bit lighter, just enough to cut the cold for a winter shooting and very good for protecting the hands uh, with various in various environments. All right, so reason I chose this belt, even if you're a long range shooter, this is what I suggest you get because it has the attached D ring with the Cobra buckle. So, and this is the keeper that we're looking at there. It's a very, very handy thing to have if you are a competitor, a tactical shooter, or uh, one of the boys and girls in blue. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to toss things on the ground as we go so we can go really, really quickly. All right. If you got guns, you got to feed them. They're like little children. They always want food. So I suggest sell your embellet, full metal jacket, 9mm, 45 and so on. They, this is extremely accurate ammo, very pleasant to shoot, very clean burning, and not a lot of buildup in your gun. So you can shoot a lot, and it's cheap. Did I mention it's cheap? It's like nine to $10 a box, and it is definitely better quality than other stuff I've seen out there. All right, stocking stuffers, I'm gonna to keep to the end. So you wanna be a long range shooter, but you don't wanna spend three to $4,000 on a scope, but you wanna get out past 1,000 yards and so on. Uh, so one of the key tickets to that, you go and buy yourself like a Leopold VX3i scope. Excellent, excellent little scope, especially for the money. Got everything on board that you need and nothing that you don't. It's a uh, first focal plane or second focal plane. I recommend the first focal plane. And if you pop one of these guys on it from Tacom HQ, our periscope units, they're about 1200 bucks US. Come with a handy dandy carrying case. You can make that cheap little scope go for thousands and thousands of yards. So Tacom HQ, excellent gift. You really cannot go wrong for the long range shooter with this. It hooks up either to the front of the scope or to a rail mounted system. So excellent, excellent system. On to the ground it goes. All right. Precision hunter, tactical shooter, or uh, PRS match, sandsock gear bags. You cannot go wrong without the, with these. They are excellent. They're extremely light. 
It's like bags of air, micro bead foam. And then finally, one of my favorite products that I've got this year is the Peltor earmuffs, the electronic hearing. You can get them with Bluetooth or without Bluetooth. These fold out, extend, just like any other earmuffs. The sound quality is phenomenal. The comfort is phenomenal. And uh, Nolan and I have really enjoyed using these things. They've been really, really excellent. And we forget we're wearing them. Nolan forgets all the time. And uh, that's how good they are. That's how quiet they are. And that's how good the voice recognition is. No more echo. All right, toss those down. Moving along, we've got our Coltac ammo pouch. This is an excellent product right here. Use this all the time. This goes everywhere with me. I carry, usually have this thing fully loaded. I've got a bunch of 224 Valkyrie in here. I find it holds anything from 224 all the way up to 7 SOM. Pretty darn decent. Uh, older, ah, over that, you're going to end up having some problems with it because it's, uh, the slots are not going to be quite as big as possible. Maybe Coltac can actually make you a a uh, custom one though. So Coltac, yep, excellent. Awesome products. Amend 2 magazines. These guys are awesome. They are down the road for me. Hey, look at that. They're even made in the USA. And they come in different colors because we all love different colors. You can buy the base plate separately, I believe, too. I've got some of the Idaho See if we can get them to focus here. The Idaho special edition ones, and I really love these magazines. I like the grip, I like the angle, uh, I like the material, they're darn tough. I'm not gonna shoot these because I like them too much. And then I even have an Amend 2 mag for my Glock 43, and I'll probably be picking up more of these too because this is part of my everyday carry package. And why is this not focusing? All right. And these have the indicator right on the back, so you can see if they're fully loaded, as this one is. You can see the rounds glinting off the back. Okay. All right. You want to get better at pistol shooting, you better get yourself a shot timer. So we have got the Range Tech shot timer here. This is from concealedcarry.com. They bought out the rights to this from the company that named it after my shop, or after my uh, shop, I was gonna say, my online shop. Uh, very nice uh, compliment there, but unfortunately we didn't make this, but it is still an awesome product. It comes with uh, no display on it. As you can see, this product hooks up to your, hooks up to your phone via Bluetooth. You switch it on here, and then there's an app that you download from the interweb, and you can, uh, just head right off to the races with it, record all your data, and save it to their cloud. Fix It Sticks kits. Do not leave home without these. These are the cat's meow of rifle maintenance. They work extremely well. They will save you many missed shots from not setting up your rifle properly. Whether it's an AR-15, they got a kit for it. Whether it's your mountain bike, they got a kit for it. And whether it's long range shooting, they got a kit for it. They have a kit for everything practically under the sun, probably even a can opener or a bottle opener, I mean, too. All right. My beard's getting a little messed up. All right. Next, Terminator Breaks. So you want to get your wife into shooting, but she does not like being kicked by your rifle. But you're generous enough to take her out. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a Terminator brake and put it on your rifle. You will thank me for this. You'll thank Greg at Terminator Products for this. These are bar none the best, the best muzzle brakes out there. The machining is insane. I've gotten compliments on these from German machinists. So, I mean, when the Joymans are saying that it's good, it's good. So this is a Terminator T3 sort of middle lower part of the lineup and it goes from T1 all the way up to T7 which are freaking monster brakes for the biggest calibers out there. That one I'm not throwing on the ground though. Alrighty, the hog saddle. This thing is 
This is the OG original gangster of tripod shooting. Of course, there's a ball head and the tripod that goes under it, but for this, could not show you that. This is the most versatile shooting system for tripods that you can get. It's a little bit heavier, but I think it's, you know, well worth going to because I don't like having extra rails and crap all over my rifles. Um, moving on, Kestrels. If you want to be a long range shooter, you got to have a Kestrel. Whether you have the Ballistics Edition or the Elite Edition with the Ballistics program in it, both are going to serve you well. Multi target, one target, and a few less features on this. However, with the Ballistics one, if you want to spend the 400 instead of the 700, you can update to the 700 system uh, for paying the difference and you'll get a software update. So both are excellent, both read the same. I have had these out at the same time, testing conditions. They both are just as accurate. Okay, do you have somebody who is in blue or in the military and you wanna make sure they're safer? One of the best products out there for law enforcement, uh, for weapon retention protection is the K-Bar. It is a nasty little piece of kit. What it's meant to do is be in your belt. If you're a left or right-handed person, you're gonna carry it like this in the front of your belt. Comes out, now you have something to defend your weapon with. And if you have to bring it out right-handed, you can as well too. So I suggest you take some training. There are other belts for other, or other knives for other applications, but I feel that this is one of the best ones for, for the boys and girls in blue. So that's a good system. Uh, you can find that on Amazon as well. Alrighty. Okay, crap happens even at Christmas time. You should have a first aid kit in your car on the ready. This is a nice one from a burly stock. I would suggest that you add the rat's tourniquet to it. The rat's tourniquet is excellent, but I, this one does come with a tourniquet that is appropriate for adults. But if you're a family guy like myself, you should have a rat's tourniquet as well too. Those are 22 bucks on Amazon. But the a burly stock one, this is their their med kit it has two slots in it to carry a couple of AR mags so this truly is sort of a mass shooting first responder kind of kit right here and it's an excellent thing to have on your person on your in your vehicle or on your person in a pack or something like that all right down she goes all right flashlights flashlights two is one one is none you should have multiple flashlights for multiple applications and I suggest that you do what I did add some glow-in-the-dark tape this is a pretty durable tape off of amazon.com and I added it to it so that in the dark if I need to find it when the flashlight is turned off I can find it because if your flashlight's not turned on and it's not on your person you're gonna have a hard time finding it or you drop it you're gonna have a hard time finding it this is my old uh, duty flashlight carried this for many years works very well very very bright uh, different application, smaller bezel. So if somebody you're buying for happens to be somebody in uniform, this is a better option than the fat bezel one. This is more of a focus beam and this is more of a, uh, you know, duty officer kind of kind of carry flashlight. All right, you want to keep your wife or yourself safe. You have to leave work at, in the winter time. Uh, it's dark out, got to go into parking lots, that kind of thing. My everyday carry flashlight is this little Streamlight micro stream that is rechargeable. It has a USB port right on the side of it and you can use that port to keep recharging the lithium battery that's in it. This is a, I think it's IPX3 waterproof flashlight so it's waterproof to a couple of feet deep for so many hours. It runs for about three and a half hours on low and an hour and a half on high if I remember the data right but I like this flashlight because I can just leave it tucked into my shirt nobody's gonna know it's there and if I need it I can pull it out and I have a flashlight if I need to get it off my neck or the fight ensues rather than somebody using it as a garage I can pull on it and it's got the safety land yard on it so uh, for those, you know, you want it, something for your spouse that they can have on them and not shoved in a purse or something like that. This is something that's a nice, easy carry, lightweight flashlight. Uh, I suggest, you know, having something like this for anybody who's a driver because you just never know. I've used this little flashlight for signaling police to 
accidents that I've had to report or dangerous individuals or strange circumstances going on. You wouldn't believe the crap that I witness. Ah, moving on from there. Uh, we have the SIG Sour lineup of laser range finders. I have this Kilo 2000, it's the oldest first model that they put out, and I have a Kilo 2200 BDX. That's their Bluetooth version, hooks up to your uh, it hooks up to a variety of different scopes, and it is a excellent little uh, laser rangefinder. Whether you have the older one or these newer ones, they they go pretty far. And yeah, so I've come to count on these quite a bit. I haven't found justification to step up to anything higher than that so far. You know, until I can get something that goes like 5,000 yards or something. So rule of thumb with laser rangefinders, if it says it'll do 1,600 yards, it'll be hard pressed to do 800. If it says 3,000, it'll do probably 1,500 kind of thing. This one with low light, good conditions, I have gone 3,000 yards with it as claimed. High sunlight, uh, smog, smoke, that kind of thing, clouds, it will not do that. So just be realistic and be aware. All right. Okay. One of the favorite things that I've found the last little bit, and I posted some pictures to my Instagram account on this. This is a Milwaukee pack out tray type thing. It actually hooks up to other toolboxes, so you can carry multiples of these if you need to. Why I bought it, it was on sale for 20 bucks at the Ace Hardware in town, and I picked it up so I could carry my 9mm, my shotgun, my 22, and 223 ammo on it without having all these little boxes floating around. I wanted something fast and easy that I could grab. Comes with the added benefit that it is waterproof. If you look down the side here, you can see the black seal that wraps around it. Very, very durable, thick plastic. It's about 3 16ths of an inch. And if you see right in here, it is a steel hinge that goes right through that. So it is a very heavy duty uh, case setup. It's Milwaukee after all, and I've come to expect Milwaukee to be super strong. Uh, <clears throat> for the shooters out there in your family, they're like me, you know, money is not growing on trees. What I like to do, have with me are multiple rolls of masking tape, duct tape, and so on. If you want a faster option, you can buy these and I'll explain why. If you have, want a faster option, you can buy these pre-made sticky type stickers. These I use for repairing targets and the same with these. Get good quality masking tape if you're going to use it. This Walmart brand duct tape or whatever it is, is garbage. It's just ripping all the time. And so if you get like 3M scotch or something like that, this stuff works really well. The stickers work really well too because on this target, for instance, if I want to do a repair, you know, I can get these Office Staple, or Staple, no, Office Depot stickers, and I can repair my target just that fast, especially when it's cold out like it is here in Idaho. I can just patch them up, and away I go. You can get stickers like this off of Amazon, either square or round. So I suggest, you know, things like this, masking tape, Sharpies, like push button Sharpies, like this. They seal up inside so that the, the ink doesn't dry out. And then you've got some cool little stocking stuffers. Again, ammo makes good stocking stuffers too. Uh, do you have somebody in your family that likes to make their own stuff? Like I like to create my own stuff my own gear whenever I can. Started off very young sewing and that kind of thing and I've got stuff that I sewed when I was like 11, 12 years old still, uh, like a chalk bag for climbing for instance. So one of the things I went looking for on Amazon was uh, uh, Kydex uh, holster buckle or hardware, that kind of stuff. And I found a couple of items that I thought were really nice and let me just grab them because they're floating around here somewhere. All right, so found a couple of things, you know, for the do-it-yourself kind of guy or gal. If you don't find a product on the market that you want, I mean, you can buy these buckle or these um, clips right here, these belt clips. I like these ones in particular because if you look at it, the bottom is very positive, just like a fish hook, and that latches over your belt. So 
I think it was nine or 10 bucks for a bag of these and there's five of them in there. And then you can actually get the screw type rivet hardware with rubber washers. These provide the cushioning and tension adjustability for different holsters, sheaths, that kind of stuff. Uh, all right, so there was a couple more items that I wanted to mention on this list. There's products like the Endo Snake, which is available uh, for about $40, that kind of thing. And this is a good product to have on hand if you're doing your own gunsmithing or if you just want to keep track of like barrel wear, chamber wear, that kind of thing. And so you can check them out. They're on Instagram. They're all over the internet. They're doing a really good job of an advertising um, camp, or they're doing a really good advertising campaign right now. So they're easy to find. Um, if you got a guy in your family who's like into shotguns, that kind of stuff, uh, clay pigeon thrower and clays is a really good cheap alternative. Battleborn grease and oil is something that I have come to rely on 100%. I have not used a grease that is better for precision guns or for ARs yet. It, uh, it's wipe away clean, it doesn't seem to attract dust too badly, and it has it is just so smooth running. Uh, Condor boots. My Condor boots that I got three and a half, almost four years ago, finally have given up the ghost. That is a long time for a hundred dollar set of boots that, you, that get worn all the time. Uh, Gorilla Tape. This is great stuff to have for range days. It's good stocking stuffer. It's expensive, goes a long ways, lasts a long time. Uh, LMT defense rifles. If you want to really get in somebody's good graces, get them an LMT defense monolithic rail platform rifle. They are bar none best AR-15s I've ever used. I've seen a lot, I've been to SHOT Show, I've looked at a lot. Nothing says quality like LMT. They are deadly, deadly accurate. All of mine shoot a single bug hole with match ammo. Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, 50% uh, Fitty Tactical. Check out his deals that he has right now. He has got some funny shirts. He's got lots of pro second amendment stuff. He is a veteran, um, you know, who does what he can. He lost an arm. Uh, he shoots, he still shoots long range precision rifle and stuff like that, but he actually lost an arm overseas to an IED. And, uh, so I like to, uh, like to remind people that there's lots of veterans out there who are doing a phenomenal job of supporting themselves, even with their disabilities. Uh, Lone Star levels. These are super cheap levels you can find on Amazon, really good quality. And I don't think there's anything that beats them. They're $18. Find out the size of the scope that your husband or wife needs to put a uh, level on and get the one of these guys. Radiant Raptor 4590, the uh, ambidextrous safety. So you can either set it to be a 4590 or 45 from safe to fire or 90, you know, your typical safe to fire. Interesting system. I like the fact they're reversible. There's like four different options, four different ways you can set these up. And you'll see when you open the package, they have different lengths of uh, handles in them. And then there's the, there's the Radian uh, Raptor. That's their charging, ambidextrous charging handle with a slight extension to it. I have that on my AR-15 with my one to four scope. And that has been a nice um, upgrade to that because I'm not knocking my knuckles on the scope trying to actually run the handle on that thing. So that's that's something that's available, I believe, for AR-15s and AR-10s from Radian. I apologize if it's not the AR-10s too. But then if it's not, then get one from LMT Defense. Uh, I think we pretty much covered it all. Oh, if you have somebody you know is getting into reloading, this is a difficult one and, and there's a lot of options where you can go wrong, but the Redding Type S full dies, the sets, you know, with the, the resizing die and the seating die. There's like bar none, no better uh, reloading uh, die set out there for any caliber. I've come to rely on them, you know, for everything that I do. That is what I have across the board is these Type S full die sets. And yeah, I think that pretty much about covers it. So guys, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thanks for all the love and support this year. We love you guys too. We've had so many nice comments and stuff like that. Really, you know, 
I had a few comments regarding the, the passing of my mother and stuff like that. And we've had some other terrible family stuff go on this year too, which at some point I'll share with y'all. But um, really love and support, you know, love the support um, that uh, we've had so far. And, uh, you know, to my brothers and sisters in, in black and blue back in, back in the correction system and stuff like that, miss you guys and hope you're doing well. Stay safe out there to all those other guys out, whether you're dressed in, in green or blue, you know, serving here as law enforcement or serving overseas. I mean, I hope you are kept safe and protected this year. You know, don't be complacent. And uh, be careful out there these holidays because it's always extra tough on families if something happens. All right, guys, we are going to be back really quick. We're working on some new videos. We're testing out some Bang Energy drinks, see which ones are the best for shooting. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's going to be a fun video. It's going to be some 338 RPR action in that thing too. And um, yeah, all right, guys, that was fun. Have a good one.